Good morning and welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I'm losing my voice, so I sound a little crazy in this voiceover and in the video as well. But today I'm bringing you a 24 hours in my life on the weekend. Um, during the week, I do work full time um, as an accountant and then on the weekend, I do run YouTube and then another side business while parenting the kiddos so just kind of giving you guys a look into what our life looks like on the weekend um, here first off I'm showing you I either use sugar-free coffee mate or I use the premier protein um, to mix with my coffee and I will do an iced coffee I also showed you guys that Mike had made pancakes and let me sleep in that morning I did not have the pancakes I just had a protein shake but it was really nice um, that Mike made breakfast for the kiddos and then I got a movie started and then Mike headed downstairs into the shop and then I took over and hung out with the kids for the day. So I've got some cute like montage here of the kids just playing. This is typically what they do um, most of the morning is they'll just kind of hang out and play with each other and get into all sorts of trouble. After I have hung out with the kids for a while, I will let my dog outside again because she has to go potty quite often. Um, and then as I'm letting the dogs go potty, I will go check on Mike, take a peek at what he's doing in the shop that day, make sure that we're on track for all of our order deliveries for the day. Um, we do have a pretty strict schedule that we have to abide by. Um, unfortunately, if we get sick or anything like that, it does put us off course a little bit. But that's what I'm doing here and he's kind of making fun of me. I'm just seeing how it's going down in the shop or as he calls it the slave pen. Um, he will often refer to himself as Igor um, and I am the master. So um, anyways, he's just clacking together. Um, we're doing a mudroom, a hall tree cabinet type thing here. Um, and then I head back upstairs and hang out with the kids. And most of the time they're getting into trouble again and I am telling her to play nicely with her brother. Um, but yeah, I just kind of hang out with them and play a little bit. clip I'm showing you guys that I am just diffusing some of my nature's shield by now essential oils this is the um, thieves or like this is the now essential oils version of thieves I really like this essential oil it smells like a Christmas potpourri and it is supposed to help with cold and flu season um, and then after that I went through my coupons started getting ready for Black Friday I don't know if you guys are getting ready for Black Friday or not but I am so pumped so I'm just kind of looking at my coupons here and then I start to put together some lunch for the kids or more so like a mid-morning snack because it was like probably like 10:30, 11 o'clock at this point. Yeah. Kaya made an absolute mess of the living room again per usual. I just cleaned that room in my get it all done with me the day before um, but here I was just showing that Mike's getting ready for lunch he is going to be cooking lunch this is really where things started to take a turn and I didn't feel super great so here I am laying on the couch um, I'm kind of out of focus here but I'm just laying on the couch relaxing because I started to run a little bit of a temp um, and as you guys can hear I obviously lost my voice I've got some laryngitis um, in getting through a really awful cold you guys so anyways I just was kind of hanging out and relaxing on the couch here okay so I'm not gonna pop on too much more here in this video but I did want to tell you guys that the white stuff on my sweater <laughs> see I'm always such a hot mess um that is flocking for my Christmas tree 
flocking for my Christmas tree. So uh, yeah, knew I was gonna get some questions on that. And that is what that is. <laughs> For lunch this day, I had a Caesar salad from Costco. Um, and then as I was eating it, I realized that the kids were super hungry. Mike was super nice and came inside to make himself lunch and made the kids lunch. Mike was making himself ramen. So that is what the kids got and Riker smashed those ramen noodles. Look at him, he's like, mom, this is so good. Okay, so we had a couple of deliveries scheduled for this afternoon um, for m and Rustics, and those have now been um, rescheduled just because of a schedule change with one of our customers. So, um, and because they're both like way out of town, we're trying to combine them both and do them all at the same time. It's like a five and a half hour round trip for us. So anyway, so now that's been paused um, and now I am getting sick again. It's like getting worse, my temp is going up and up, and I'm not feeling very well, so super great. Um, so now the rest of this afternoon, right now it's like 3.15, and yeah, and um, Riker's just having, Mike made him ramen noodles. Mike took over lunch, so we're having a dad version of lunch. I oh, had. That's supposed to be what he's saying. <laughs> I'm making chicken on the grill, by the way. He's smoking chicken for himself and me. I did have a little bit of a Caesar salad from Costco.
when that last cup you saw that I let Kaya vacuum a little bit I like to let her help just every once in a while it makes her think that she's like really doing a big girl job um, and here I'm just cutting up some apples for Kaya to have with her lunch um, she's just having noodles the same as Riker and some almond chocolate milk um, and then I am making up a bottle for Riker after I clean the counter here because it is right around bedtime. By the time I'm done cleaning, it's like probably 12.30, 12.45. And then I will change Riker's bum and then I will bring him upstairs and put him down for a night-night. <laughs> So you, as you guys can see here in these last little clips of me changing Riker's bum, um, I'm cleaning out his nose and he's getting really mad at me. Um, I use a little bit of um, like the little baby nasal spray and then the nose Frida and then I give him smoochies because he is not happy after I clean out his nose. And then as soon as I was done with that, I went and got his antibiotics. This was his last dose. Um, he was on this amoxicillin twice a day for 10 days um, because he had a double ear infection. So I'm just giving him, like I said, his last dose right here, which is super awesome. We're really excited to be done with that antibiotic. And for those of you wondering, this is where I keep all of Riker's diapers, wipes, on the go things, etc. right here in this diaper cart. So Riker's been like really spitty when he's been going down for naps and for um, bedtime lately and that's just because of his antibiotics. So on his crib mattress you can see like there's some spit up stains. Um, I am going through the laundry here because I need to put it all away um, and I need to get Riker a new crib mattress um, sheet on his bed. So I am tackling this giant pile of laundry. So I had to pause the laundry because Riker woke up, he took a really short nap, and him and Kaya are snuggling, he bonked her on the head here. But they will typically like hang out and snuggle, um, he's got like chocolate almond milk down the front of his shirt, so I had to change him shortly after this, but how cute are they? You guys, look at these rooms. I have made zero progress. Uh, see what I mean? Not enough hours in the day. This lighting is terrible and my voice is terrible. Um, it is like six. It is 5.45 right now and I need to, oh my god, I sound so bad. Um, I need to get things put away in here because we're going to start dinner at 6.30, get the kids fed by 7.00. And then in bed, they need a bath tonight and they need to be in bed by eight. So now is the power hour. So sorry if the lighting is kind of crap now. The light in my bedroom is super yellow and it's now dark outside. So, so we're gonna need a little help from the inside lights. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop talking and just let you enjoy this montage of me frantically cleaning. Because this was a power hour and I did not have enough time to hang everybody's clothes up, I just decided that I was going to sort all of the clothes into baskets. So like one for me, one for Mike, one for our socks. I had taken everything off the hangers um, to try and go through it. It just was too much of a task for me this day. So that's what I did to get it all back into baskets and organized.
Okay, so all I have left is this one little pile of like, this is all Rikers stuff. And most of this um, needs to be folded and put away in here. There's only a couple things that get hung up. Um, but I'm going to wait for that because I need to go and cook dinner really quick. Also, in my room, this is all that's left. So I ended up, um, as you guys saw, like I had baskets laid out and I just sorted all of Mike's stuff, all of my stuff. I had pulled everything off the hangers. That's why that pile was so huge is because it was literally all of Mike's, Mike and I's clothes. I intended on like going through all of the um, clothes that didn't fit us or the things that were just like out of style that we wanted to donate or maybe sell. Um, but I just didn't have enough time and energy today. Um, time is definitely like my worst enemy. For Mike and I, before we go to bed tonight, I want us to like set out our outfits for um, Thanksgiving break coming up because as you guys know, we're going to visit my parents. So I need to pack because we're leaving in just a couple of days. So um, this is just like, I've got like a pile for me and then I've got a pile for Mike to go through. All right, so I have a whole bag of garbage. Um, so while I was cleaning, um, I tried to show you guys. Um, while I was cleaning, I'm trying to get over this stupid gate. Um, while I was cleaning, Riker and Kaya were down here and actually um, Kaya and Riker were napping. So our third floor overlooks the second floor. Um, so towards the end when Riker woke up, I was like up here like watching him as I was putting laundry in the washer and dryer. So anyways, yeah, little guy just woke up and now we're going to have some dinner. Should we make some supper? Hi. Kaya is still sleeping. She needed a long nap. You're keeping me on. I'm strapped in. Also, just wanted to point out really quickly that Mike, um, earlier when he made that chicken, made enough so that we could meal prep for him and I for lunch tomorrow. So we are also good to go for lunch tomorrow. My head is spinning. I see you rapping about. I'm sure as hell. So at the end of the night when everything is starting to calm down, um, I will snuggle the kiddos while supper cooks and snuggle the puppies as well, get everybody their attention in. And then I will hop onto my MacBook and start editing a video for you guys while supper is at the very tail end. And then usually I will finish editing after I get into my bed. Guys, this is the funniest clip to me. Look at that pack of ramen. She was begging for ramen. My kids love ramen noodles and we like never have them in the house. But when we do by chance, because Mike grabs them, 
Kaya wants them all the time, but she ate all of her steak, all of her asparagus. She's such a good eater. Um, and Riker is a great eater as well. After dinner, I went upstairs and changed Riker's crib mattress sheet because it was finally clean. Um, like I said, he's been just super spitty with those antibiotics lately. And then after I got that swapped out, I got the kids into the bath and here they're making a giant mess, but they're having a super great time splashing and just playing with each other. And these are the moments that I absolutely live for. I love it. is having his last bottle for the night he typically doesn't fall asleep until like a good 20 minutes after that when we are totally running behind this evening usually I have them in bed by 7 38 o'clock but I just had run out of time today and I was running behind so while he's having that bottle I'm just vacuuming up my room and getting things straightened up before the beginning of the week let's go to bed I want to because I want one. Alright you guys, I need to ask the news quickly. Um, I just changed into a dry sweater. I've got my dark gray one drying upstairs because I spilled a bunch of water on it. But anyways, um, I need to go through my nice handbag or my nice purse as I call it because we're going to a couple of nicer places this weekend when we go visit my parents in the cities. Um, so I've got my Teddy Blake handbag here. Um, I brought this with me to Cali. Um, if you guys did not tune into that video, I'll have that linked up here for you. Um, but I brought this with California. It was the perfect addition. Um, and it like sat perfectly on top of my um, suitcase. It sat perfectly right on top of there. Fit really nicely in front of the um, in like on the airplane in the seat in front of me um, But anyways, I need to go through this. This is my last step for the night and Mike's falling and knocking things over um, Teddy Blake is having a really good sale this week and I wanted to mention to you guys um, I got an email from them earlier this week saying that these were going to be 85% off So I will have that link down below for you guys um, Along with the little code so that you can get 85% off on Black Friday, but just wanted to mention it really quick I've been super happy with my Teddy Blake handbag. So anyways, time for me to put some, all of the like fun things in here I need to put. Um, got like my lip gloss, my Morphe lip gloss, um, and things like that in here so that I'm ready for a night out with the fam. Ooh, some coconut cream water stuff too. Sweet. Okay, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for this 24 hours in my life in our lives with two kiddos technically the three jobs um, And what it looks like on a weekend day for us. It's not truly a weekend day Again, I am truly sorry that I lost my voice in this video. I didn't have any other day to film this I wanted to hold off because I sound so terrible but if you guys made it to the end of this video and dealt with my squeaky voice, give yourself a big thumbs up because I sound ridiculous. But anyways, you guys, if you liked this kind of video on my channel, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I recorded almost every minute of my day. There were still more, if you can believe it, there were more things that I was doing that I didn't film just because I didn't want to bore you guys. But absolutely insane i'm dead i'm sweating from all of the running around so i hope you guys did enjoy this video guys we are coming up to vlogmas in just a few short days yes we are doing vlogmas i am attempting vlogmas the full 25 days this year i am insane i know i'm insane 
but I'm really excited um, to give it a shot this year. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel before you leave so that you don't miss out on my A, my normal voice, um, and B, so you don't miss out on Vlogmas with us. And I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. And I hope you guys have a really awesome, fantabulous, beautiful, and relaxing Thanksgiving with your family. And don't catch the laryngitis like I did. Okay. Bye, you guys.